Welcome back to Houston Life. Grab your rackets. The U.S. Men's Clay Court Championships are happening this week at River Oaks Country Club. And I got a chance to check it out and have some fun on the court. I also wanted the excuse to go and check out. The, I'd never been to the River Oaks Country it's Club. So cool. So fancy. Anyway, it is a great way to go and check out the club. But also, I got to see a side of tennis that I never knew existed. Take a look at this. The U.S. Men's Clay Court Championships is on now at the River Oaks Country Club. This means fun and food with friends at one of Houston's most exclusive spots. Throw in some fashion. I think you guys have the best hat. Oh, I got the idea from watching Indian Wells about four or five years ago, and then I showed it to him, and he made the first prototype. And of course, there's the tennis. I'm very invested in this game. That. Oh, my gosh. oh. oh man, that's the Aussie. I'm the only person here going for the Australian. So how was the game today, Brandon? Oh, it was good. It was good. Yeah, yeah. Happy, happy to be here. And um, you know, I'm always enjoying uh, playing out here on the court. Yeah. You know, it's a beautiful facility, beautiful club. And, uh, you know, the city is also really nice as well, so it's just a great, great atmosphere for, uh, for professional tennis players. Tell us a bit about your autographs here that you have on this ball. Uh, this one's from a worker. A worker? <laughs> Wait, have you got any players who have signed it? Uh, JJ. Oh, nice, JJ, who just won a match. That's JJ Wolf, who just beat my Aussie, Jordan Thompson. While you are sure to catch an on-court hero or two wandering around, behind the scenes are those who you could call the unstrung heroes of the game. You're going to want to see this. So we are doing the, the racket stringing for the players. So we prepare all the rackets for their general play and for their practices. Make sure that when they go out there, they can just worry about their game. On peak days during any tournament, this team of stringers may work up to 20 hours straight. So how many rackets have you strung? Since about 2015, when I first started uh, doing tournaments, I would say about 20,000. That is a lot of rackets. Do you have a lot of calluses on all your fingers? When I first started out, yes. Now that they're just kind of part of the, it's just part of my finger, so. Um, yeah, when I first started out, it was tough. I had to ice my fingers after the first few nights of the uh, tournaments I did. Most players or their coaches will bring in rackets ahead of a game, but sometimes they call on the stringers during a match. Every once in a while, they'll send one off uh, during the match. Maybe the match goes a little bit longer than they wanted to. Their uh, strings are wearing out faster. They might send one off there. Maybe sometimes weather is a difference in weather. Sometimes it'll fluctuate. I've had uh, weather fluctuate 30 degrees here during the finals and the guys would change rackets during the match. It's all about that comfort, that feel, and, and making sure that everything is, is good and consistent. Does it look like they've done a good job? They did a great job, I have no doubt. <laughs> And this team will keep on stringing until the U.S. Men's Clay Court Championships wraps up this Sunday. The unstrung heroes of the match. Yeah. That is so cool. And you know what? I think for a lot of Houstonians, they would see this match and say, wait a minute, where is that? It's Houston, people. Yes. This is happening, and it happens every single year here. And it's an amazing tournament. Like, people who are there, they love it, and the players love it. And it's a really historic the st stadium there. I got Actually, the stringers were telling me it got grandfathered in, but today you wouldn't be able to build a stadium like that because you're too close to the action, which yeah. is great because you're really close to the action. So you loved it? Oh, my gosh. It was amazing. I'm a tennis fan now, full tennis fan. But, Derek, you know how I found the stringers? How? Well, in TV... There's a term stringer, yeah. which is a photographer who goes out and films stuff and then sells it to the TV Yeah, stations. we could, like a freelance photographer. So you'd say, like, yeah. do we have a stringer to go cover this story? Yes, and so I saw it and I went, oh, that must be where the media hangs out. And I was like, wow, they have a whole room for the stringers? <laughs> Different kind of <laughs> so stringer, So I wandered huh? on in and I was like, whoa. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> what a fun inside look, Adventures Mel Camp. Of Mel. I'm glad you went. Yeah, All me right. too. Me too. Thanks for actually. You told me I should definitely go. I, I was like, you have to go to this yeah, event. Thanks, I'm glad Matt. you did.